everybody. Welcome back to our monthly update. We are the CBOC team representing 1% of all sales in Maricopa County since 2005. So we're here to share some interesting information with you. Um, last month, if you were watching our video, we shared with you that our inventory here in the Valley is decreasing rapidly. Uh, we were at about five months worth of inventory as of last month. And this month, it looks like it's even less. Yeah, so currently we're sitting about just under 33,000 homes on the market, which represents about 4.3 months of inventory. And we're seeing a steady decline. I mean, I, I'm excited because I come in and, and check active inventory every day and it's going down by 50, 100, off 17% since February. So, That's significant. That's exciting. That, I mean, it's exciting for our market. Absolutely. I mean, there's nothing more exciting than when you take someone out in the car and they go, well, take me to see all the foreclosures. And I go, um, this is all we have. No, 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 no. I've heard on TV, right. there's a lot of foreclosures. Take me to them. Well, there's not many. I mean, we're describing North Scottsdale and Scottsdale because Scottsdale only has 265 foreclosures. And why is that? Well, what we're starting to see is <clears throat> the uh, shadow inventory the amount of homes that are pending is is rapidly declining as well. It's uh, it peaked in uh, I think it was the August of 2009, but we're off 22 percent from the peak of the amount of foreclosures. So there's just less houses to be sold. Less notices of trustee sale. Speaking of less notices of trustee sale, trustee sales are off by over 50 percent from the high. And what that is, is they feed the shadow inventory numbers. So when the river feeding the, the, the pond is going down, the pond of foreclosures is going down as well. Shrinking. Shrinking. As far as demand is concerned, I mean, 72, a little over 7,200 homes sold in February. Wow. I mean, that, that was the second best February ever for Maricopa County. We're I'm, talking ever. Ever, yeah. So when, when, I mean, she said it very eloquently, but holy cow. I mean, <laughs> people are out there buying everywhere. I mean, it just, it, now when you get in the car, you're like, oh, that one sold, that one sold, that one sold, because demand is back. Okay, so we've, all, we've got actually almost 13,000 homes pending at this very moment. Right, and actually almost 20,000 homes under contract. When you hear the pending home sales, they don't include the what are called AWC, or those are homes under contract. Well, according to Arizona law, when a home is has a contract on it, it's considered sold, but yet they don't include it in the pending number. So I don't get that, but 20,000 homes under contract. I mean, demand is off the hook. Yeah, and prices are still low. However, you know, people are still able to, to find, to get great deals here in the Valley. At, you know, prices are at an all time low. So, you know, buyer opportunity is better than it's been in a very long time. Right, and but people really need to start to understand exactly what I actually say. Prices are low, but that doesn't mean that you can come in now and offer 20% off. I mean, the thing is, is everything is at a discount. I mean, Ash, what is the, Stat on the average price from listing price to sale price? In Maricopa County, it's 95% off of asking price. So you're talking a 5% reduction from asking price is the overall average in Maricopa County. So what that means, if you're making an offer and you're making an offer that's 15 or 20% off, often it's not even gonna get a response. I mean, I'll give you an example. I went out and uh, saw a house for $400,000 in Greyhawk listed first day we went in to see it thought about making an offer made an offer slightly off asking price and they got three offers i mean the thing is is the market is definitely changing and people need to be aware that it's what competitive is really out there and if you want if you want to to buy a house and you want to do a real estate transaction you got to know what's happening and what the trends are so that you know how to play the game basically yeah speaking of trends i would like to share what i see in my crystal ball well please do wouldn't we all like to see that oh so everybody and he did bring one with him <laughs> yeah what do you know just happen to have it but everybody wants to know because you know i figured that if you don't leave home without this. i don't leave home without the crystal ball but 
Um, you know, if Kay Schiller's out there making predictions, I figure that I could make predictions as well. Sure. Right? And what I see is that the people predicting the double dip coming in the future, that they're going to be wrong because demand <laughs> has returned and prices are going to start going through the roof. All right, Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, thank you so much, guys, for your time. Shortly, in the next couple weeks, keep an eye out because we have another very entertaining but informative video coming out. Kind of explaining to you why we see those prices rising with a nice visual to, get, to help you grasp the whole picture of it. Thank you so much. We'll see you then. Thank you.